We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 2-1. Pulled toward right center field. Smith is there and he has it for the out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. With Alex. 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series, he's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ramirez is coming off a win in his last start, the first of his major league career, so I'm sure he's still riding high from that achievement. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Next up for the Strohs, Jose Altuve. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Popped him up. Seeger in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. And here's the speedster D. Gordon. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Line shot to first, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, Malik Smith. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Mariners center fielder down with a full count. Three balls and two strikes. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Malik Smith becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Hits this one hard the other way. Guriel picks it up. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Second inning set to go. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And that's off the left field wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That is it. The first paper, number 10. Yulia Guriel. Standing in now, Yuli Guriel. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. George Springer the next to hit. Now a shot sent off to the right side, but foul. Scorch to third. The tag gets one. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. So two men are on with one man out. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. 
I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Surrounding in for Houston, Josh Reddick. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. The 1-1. One, one. Now a curveball misses inside. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. On the ground to the left side. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. The captain, Garrett Stubbs. Stepping in now, Garrett Stubbs rolled slowly down the third baseline. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches, and ideally, he'd be closer to. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Next for Seattle, Daniel Vogelback. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. Now the 2 1. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Grounder down the line at third. And that's through for a hit. In now, Carlos Gonzalez. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Seeger. He's set and the three and one pitch. Vogelback on second. Gonzalez at first with no outs. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. 2-2. Hit out towards second. Altuve has it. One there. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Stepping in, J.P. Crawford. Runner in scoring position with Sugar. J.P. Crawford. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Two and two. Here it is. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Springer coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. The one two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. 0 for 1 here in the early going. One out, nobody on. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. 
a little early and now it's even at two and two looking to punch him out again the pitch swing line drive that's going to be trouble and that is off the wall in right field and he'll reach second now with one away at the plate Jose Altuve hit on the ground to short Crawford fields it cleanly and boy just about overshot his man at first but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there and that's out number two coming to the plate now Jordan Alvarez and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed needs to stay compact and stay in a big part of the field the one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two and it's fouled away hit out towards second Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. In now the Mariners' DH, Dylan Moore. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. The 1-1 one -one home. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. And there's one down now. One gone now in the Mariners' third inning. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Bases are empty, one man out. A little roller toward the hole. Guriel brings it in, and he'll flip this on to Granke, covering for the out. Digging in now for the Mariners, Malik Smith. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The count now at two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Reddick. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Hey, now to the plate, Yuli Guriel. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. At the plate, George Springer reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. The 3 1. Fouled off. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. But right at the shortstop for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one-two. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Smith. And the inning is over. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's Granke's 1-2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. The batter. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. 
They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Can't connect there. It's two and two. And he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Now batting, Carlos Gonzalez will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Back up the middle. And Gonzalez is going to have himself a base hit. Into the box, Kyle Seeger. 3 1. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. 3 and 2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. At the plate, Tom Murphy. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Okay. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Brantley going back at the track, but he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Fouled away. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. In now, Josh Reddick looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Hit in the air out to left field. Gonzalez has a read on it. He's got it one away. Digging in, Garrett Stubbs. He looked to bounce back Garrett. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Two balls and a strike now. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Smith's on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Next will be the designated hitter, Dylan Moore. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's D. Gordon now. He was a ground out victim last time up. D. Gordon. 3 2 pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The better fielder, double zero. So now to the plate, Malik Smith. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Swing and a miss strike two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Granky over to first. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him.
still even at two and two. Next pitch will be an even 80 so far for Grinky. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Alex Brickman. A hit in two tries for him so far. One and one, here it comes. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And he struck him out. One away for the Astros here in the sixth, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Waiting on it is Smith. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And gone. He tucked it just inside the foul pole to tie the game. Taylor Gilbo, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 45. Taylor Gilbo. Standing in now, Yuli Guriel. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. Two and one. And he fouls this one off. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. The next three, two. Bullet back up the middle. Smith is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And he got him. Dan Vogelbach is next. He went down on now strikes back. last time up. Hits are now even at four apiece. Vogelbach behind the ball and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Now back. So he sets him down swinging. Daniel Vogelback becomes out number two this inning. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There is Altuve onto the first baseman Guriel, and that will end the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. Coming to the plate now, George Springer. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. Waiting on it is Smith. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping in, Carlos Correa. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The one-two is taken for ball two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now. Three and two. 
every base runner in a close game like this really there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone into the box now Josh Reddick and this one runs a little too far in ball two hit on the ground to third Crawford gloves it and they won't have a play as he reaches it first let's see how this is scored now that in now Garrett Stubbs popped him up And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Three runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Ranging back is Henniger, and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Late Kyle Seeger. It was a walk in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. All even now, two and two. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Seeger, right field and carrying well. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Chris Davinsky will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. At the plate, Tom Murphy. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. Now batters. Stepping in now, JP Crawford. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding in once again, Dylan Moore. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 1 1. He's taken high above the zone. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short, as he'll hang on here to record the second out. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in. D. Gordon, head to head against Chris Davinsky. He's 0 for 4. Lined but speared on a hop. On to Altuve for the force out, and the inning is over. Matt McGill has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. All set for the start of the inning. Striding in, Alex Bregman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. 
Well, that's ball three, and the Astros right now would do anything to get this leadoff hitter on. 3-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gonzalez has a read on it. He's got it one away. Ready for another chance. Jose Altuve. And he's 0 for in this one batting out of the three spot. And he misses low here so the count goes to three and one. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and indeed the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first and there are two away now now the Astros designated hitter Jorgen Alvarez he's two for three with a home run and a double we all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter we saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. To two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Yuli Gurriel would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Henniger is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Framber Valdez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 59. Malik Smith, the next to hit. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1 1 home. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. And a good throw gets him one gun. So striding in, Mitch Henniger, not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Here's the 1 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer is right there, and that's out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Fastball well outside. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Yoshihisa Hirano will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Digging in once again, George Springer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Outside, two and one. Ground ball foul down the left side. Still two and two. And look out as this one catches him. And a big mistake there as now the go ahead run is aboard to lead off the inning. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch. This one's down to third. To Gordon for one. On to first and they turn the double play. 
So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Josh Reddick. The two and one. Now this is caught by Seeger down at the hot corner. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. So digging in now, Carlos Gonzalez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. There's Kyle Seeger in the on deck circle. We'll see him next. And that misses here, ball four. And of all things, it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning run on base to start the bottom half. Digging in and looking for more, Kyle Seeger. The winning run is at first base. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Ready now, Tom Murphy. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one to him now. The three-one pitch. Full count now. Three and two. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. Ready with another two-strike offering. Now this is lined into left center, and it's going to get down out there. And that is off the wall. And they're going to walk off with a 4-3 victory. Always great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here. They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ballgame. The Seattle Mariners came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Yoshihisa Hirano claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line for tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners, Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Astros, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.